Hey guys, I want to update y'all real quick on my AR-15 Veronica here. Yesterday my SBR tax stamp came in. I was able to finally put this thing together. Uh, so I'm going to go over this build real quick and share some of the changes, talk about the parts that I've used and why I used them, and uh, just show it to y'all real quick. So stick around. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go over the parts that went into building this upper. A lot of the parts are the same as my original 556 upper. The stripped upper is from Aero Precision. It's their Cerakoted Flat Dark Earth upper. The forward assist is just a standard mil spec forward assist. The dust cover is from Strike Industries. It's their ultimate dust cover, and it's the same one that's on my original 556 upper. The barrel is from CMMG. It's an eight inch barrel that I bought from Optics Planet. The rail is a Midwest Industries M-Lock rail, and it's their seven and a quarter inch long rail. The gas block is made by BCM. It's just a standard low profile uh, two set screw gas block. And the gas tube is from Spikes Tactical. It's a pistol link gas tube that has a black melanite finish, same as my original 556 upper. The muzzle device is from AAC. It's the same one that's on my 556 upper, except it's for 30 cal. It's the three prong flash hider. And that's pretty much it for all the parts that went into this upper. Uh, the charging handle and the bolt carrier group are from my 556 upper. All the ex accessories that are attached to it, the red dot, the flashlight, uh, the forward grip, and the suppressor are all accessories that came from my 556 upper and are interchangeable and all quick detach. So one thing that I really try to do in building this upper is I really wanted to get this nice tight fit right here between my rail and my suppressor. I wanted it to be nice and, and tight and uh, not a, a huge gap in there. And that was kind of hard to figure out. And I, I did a little bit of research and tried to, to make the best guess that I could, but I really wasn't sure it was gonna fit as well as it does until I actually got it in my hands and was able to put it together and, and see for myself. But basically I've got an eight inch barrel and the rail is seven and a quarter inches. So that leaves me basically a three quarter inch difference between the two. And it works out to be just perfect with this AAC uh, three prong flash hider. The suppressor is an AAC 762 SDN6. And I couldn't really go with a suppressor and rail where the suppressor fit up inside the rail because the way this SDN6 attaches, you have to be able to depress a little lever in order to uh, detach the suppressor. Uh, so you can't put it up inside the rail or you would never be able to get the thing on and off uh, very easily. Now, a few people have questioned my decision to go without any backup iron sights, uh, but I did that on purpose. Uh, for one thing, I wanted to be able to mount the light this way. Uh, I wanted it so that the light was ambidextrous uh, and there wouldn't really be room for, for an iron sight on the front. Um, I, I didn't want to put the extra weight on it either. Uh, and I really didn't think it was necessary because uh, this a 300 blackout is to me basically a 100 yards and in type gun. Uh, basically this is going to be a, a range toy. It's going to be something that I hunt deer with. And where I hunt deer, I mean, I don't shoot shots more than about 60 or 70 yards. Uh, and maybe eventually after it's proven itself as far as reliability, I may incorporate it into my uh, home defense uh, arsenal. Um, but I don't see this being a long range type gun or something I'm gonna be taking long shots with. Um, that's not to say you can't. Uh, if, you do, if you go supersonic, you can definitely reach out, you know, 200 yards, no problem. Uh, but that's not really what I'm planning to do with this gun. So, but if my red dot ever were to go out in some sort of self-defense situation, 
at those distances, you can very easily hit, make hits out to about 50 yards without even having the red dot, just using the red dot tube itself and just siding through that. You can actually make effective hits on, on man-sized targets uh, without actually having the red dot in there. So it's really not something I'm, I'm that worried about. I am a, a firm believer in having backup iron sights and I do have them on my 16 inch 5.56 five, upper and I do think they are important for that. But for this particular setup, I really didn't think it was necessary. Now, one thing to take into consideration with 300 Blackout is ammo availability and price of the ammo. And in my area, 300 Blackout subsonic ammo is not very available. And it's usually expensive when you do find it. Uh, these are a few boxes that I picked up locally, but they were kind of hard to find and the prices aren't that great. Uh, this box here was uh, $15.99. Uh, that one right there is $19.19, and this one here is $24.99. So these aren't cheap rounds, uh, anywhere from $0.75 cents to over a dollar uh, per round. That's, that's pretty expensive. But one thing that I'm going to be doing to compensate for that is I'm reloading my own 300 Blackout ammo, and I'm actually casting my own bullets and powder coating them, and I can basically load up a 300 Blackout subsonic round for about eight cents a round. And I'll be doing a video showing how I do all that in the near future. And for my supersonic hunting and self-defense load, I'm gonna be using a Barnes 120 grain TAC TX bullet that I'll be working up a load for. So this 300 Blackout upper just is another capability to add on to the, the many capabilities that I have with my AR-15 Veronica here. Uh, it's just another example of why I'm, I, I love the AR-15 platform so much. Um, you know, I can do so much with the AR-15 platform uh, with using different accessories, popping uh, different uppers on, changing out calibers. Uh, this now gives me three separate calibers that I can shoot through my AR-15. I've got uh, 22 long rifle here with my CMMG uh, conversion kit. Obviously, I've got 556 and 223 with my 16 inch upper right here. And then now obviously I've got 300 blackout as well, uh, both subsonic and supersonic. So I, I just I, I just love the AR-15 for that reason. It's so modular, it can do so many different things. It can be configured in so many different ways. And I'm really trying to maximize that and take full advantage of that in, in, in the things that I buy and the accessories I buy and the way I've gone about doing this. All of these accessories that I have here are quick to attach. Uh, my sling, my scope, my red dot, my lights, my foregrips, my bipods, everything is quick to attach and interchangeable. Every accessory that I have used on my 5.56 and 22 long rifle um, configurations can be translated to my 300 blackout. It all works together and it's all interchangeable. I can take either one of these lights and put it on either one of the guns. I can take uh, either the scope or the red dot and put it on either one. Uh, they both hold zero and are quick to attach with no tools. Uh, if I want to, I can take off this uh, foregrip right here, just flip this lever and I can stick the bipod on it if I want to. Say I'm, I'm just trying to sight it in real good for deer season or something. Uh, I can put the sling on all of them. I've got sling attachment points here, 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 and there at the end. So, I mean, it's just so configurable and customizable. I can just, I can configure it uh, for any type of situation or to do whatever I want to do. Uh, from varmint hunting, to deer hunting, to home defense, uh, to just whatever. Um, and, that, and that's what I love about it so much. Now, I do have some plans for the future. Um, I do have more things that I, I, I intend to do. Um, you know, one of the things that I want to do eventually is I want to get into some night vision. I'd love to pick up a set of uh, uh, PVS 14s, um, not a set, but a PVS 14 module. Um, maybe get a D ball uh, laser, a night vision laser, and um, also, at some point, I may upgrade my scope. Uh, this is a Nikon P223 3x9 scope that I have. And uh, in the future, I may upgrade that to like a 1 to 8 power or 1 to 10 power, something with a illuminated reticle. Also, I'll probably be building the upper for my AR pistol here. 
and I'm probably going to do that in a 10 and a half inch barrel configuration. I'll be able to swap out uh, that to my SBR. Also, I can take my 300 blackout upper and put it on my pistol if I want to. I've done a video on this pistol as well. I'll put a link for that in the description below in the top right corner if you want to check that out. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you all watching this video. If you want to learn more about my AR-15 and the, the build that I did, I'll, I'll link that in the description below and also the top right corner. I've got a playlist with all the videos I've done on this rifle. I appreciate you guys watching this video, and y'all have a great day.